so I'm here today uh, to celebrate Wild Koala Day. I'm on a special property in northern New South Wales called the Koala Gardens. So I'm here today with Katrina Jeffrey. Katrina's done some great work on her property, uh, regenerating it as prime koala habitat. Depending on the conditions, I sometimes take people here for tours and Katrina goes round in the morning and gives me a map of where all the koalas are that day on her property and then I take people with the little treasure map and we go looking for the koalas. Unfortunately, due to the droughts, then the bushfires, then the excessive rains, the koala population in this area have plummeted and Katrina's property has not been immune to this. Instead of seeing six or seven koalas on her property in one day, we are now seeing about one. It's so great to have Wendy Bithell from Vision Walk Eco Tours here to share Wild Koala Day with me. And I've got a few things I want to ask Wendy about. So Wendy, tell me a little bit about your tours. So I run um, eco tours out of Byron Bay um, and one of the tours that I run is my most popular tour is the wildlife safari and I uh, take people to see kangaroos and koalas and paddy melons and wallabies and flying fox all in their natural habitat. So can you tell me a bit about this eco tourism status that you've got? I'm running the only land-based advanced ecotourism accredited business in the whole region. This is accredited by Ecotourism Australia and I've also last year won gold uh, for ecotourism in this region. That is so awesome. Now tell me about the status of koalas. Koalas are in awful lot of trouble. Before white man got here there was like 10 million koalas and thanks to um, hunting them and, and logging their habitat and they also have a disease called chlamydia, their, their numbers have really dwindled and before the fires they dwindled to about 80,000 and after these bushfires that we've had over the summer we think they've dropped to about 50,000 which is absolutely devastating. So what can we all do to help save koalas from extinction, Wendy? So we need to protect what habitat is left. Uh, we've got to stop logging their trees. Uh, this has to happen. Because we can, uh, we can plant trees, but that's not the same as saving the, their existing trees. So we need that to happen and we need these logging, um, this logging that, that's happening in their habitat to stop. We also uh, do need to plant trees. So I'm, I'm also working on that. I um, have a local carbon calculator where we're helping people uh, work out what their carbon footprint is and helping people plant trees. Um, but we also need to be careful about things like, you know, dogs on our properties and when they can attack and kill dog, um, koalas. So we, we need to make sure that, they're, um, that people tie up their dogs at night so, so they don't attack koalas. And we also, when we're driving around, um, if, if we're driving around in a koala habitat, to slow down. Um, and to keep our eye out for any, not just koalas, any wildlife crossing the road. So on this Wild Koala Day, I ask you, when was the last time you saw a koala in the wild? If you'd like to come with us to see koalas in the wild when we're able to operate again, use one of these promo codes to book on one of our tours.